imagine that we put an actual example of an inlet pressure on x axis and the lift percentage of the disc on y axis and here's your relief valve to it now we keep it from 0 to 100 percent and we have your relief valve disc put into place now let the operating pressure be hitting the disc of the relief valve but until it is not hit to set pressure let us call it point a your disc will never open so your set pressure is now reached your relief valve disc is opening to some percentage and eventually it will open to its 100 percent value when that is done your relief valve is going to open and it is going to relieve all the pressure to your outlet very simple function right now this is your at a 100 percent of the disc now let us try to trace back that when the fluid is going outside from the relief valve eventually the pressure is going to reduce so your pressure at point b is now reducing slowly and eventually let us try to track this with the curve color blue so now as it is reducing you would notice one very interesting thing that here at this point ideally the set pressure is reached and the relief valve should close but it will not close no matter what you do why is it happening so eventually it will go to even lower pressure and only when it reaches its reseating pressure let us call it point c that is where the relief valve will close actually and it will stop relieving all the fluid out now this is very interesting right this different between this reseating and seating or the set pressure is what is called as blow down the second most asked question is how do you select a relief valve especially the thumb rule with respect to the back pressure factor the relief valves are divided usually into three categories the first one being is the conventional relief valves balanced bellows relief valves and pilot operated relief valves now let us try to first understand about conventional relief valve so for selection of conventional relief valves imagine here's your conventional relief valve with your inlet and outlet connected to the piping the most important thumb rule while selecting relief valves is basically the back pressure factor the back pressure is the pressure which is acting on the downstream of the piping to your relief valve outlet outlet now in this case for conventional relief valve the back pressure should be less than 10 percent of your set pressure this is your basic thumb rule for selecting so for example if your set pressure is 100 psig your back pressure should be less than 10 psig this is your rule for selecting a conventional relief valve now when you want to select a balanced bellows relief valve the back pressure should be less than 50 percent of your set pressure and for pilot operated relief valves the back pressure can be close to what is your set pressure ideally or theoretically it could be 100 percent but vendors would surely provide you certain limitations but for sure when your back pressure is greater than 50 percent you have to go for a pilot operated relief valve now let's quickly try to summarize what we have learned first thing is relief valve is divided into various categories like conventional relief valves then you have is balanced bellows relief valves and finally you're having is pilot operated relief valves in trying to select amongst these one of the most important criteria is the back pressure factor and for conventional relief valve the back pressure should be less than 10 percent of set pressure for a balanced bellows relief valve the back pressure must be less than 50 percent of the set pressure and for a pilot operator relief valve the back pressure should be around somewhere it could be near the set pressure as per vendor recommendation for which services usually a lever is used so let's look at an international standard of asthma and this section 8 so whether it is steam water or air with a temperature which is greater than 140 degree fahrenheit or 60 degree celsius this services should have a lever with the relief valve